Hello and welcome to Generation 16, the series that showcases the history of Sega's Mega Drive. I'm Greg Stewart. I've been covering games for 20 years now. I co-founded Gaming Age and was the reviews editor for Electronic Gaming Monthly and co-founder of the Player One Podcast, one of the longest running gaming podcasts around. Join me while I recap the history of Sega's 16-bit powerhouse game by game. On Generation 16, I focus on the interesting stories behind each title, big hardware launches by Sega and its competitors, and key news stories that shaped the console wars in the early 90s. Sega went from underdog to market leader and back again, and on Generation 16, we explore how. We were all set to play some N64 tonight, sitting right there, and it all worked when I was testing it a couple weeks ago, and now it doesn't work. The closest I could get was a very garbled signal maybe twice out of like the seven times I tried to get the system running. So I think it's the cables. Uh, they're just cheap ass like $10 cables that I bought God knows where ages ago. I hope that's what it is. Although this thing has been sitting uh, in a, sort of a damp basement for a long time and um, it worked great when I hooked it up originally, but it, now it's been sitting in a completely different environment for the last month. Um, and yeah, I don't know if it's the system that's dead or if it's the cables. So we'll have to find out. Uh, in the meantime, I got uh, my copy of Bloodstained today. So let's let's play that instead. Axe and Verge is a good time. All right. Hey, we need followers. We need subscriptions. We need donations to Extra Life. Stuart.ca will take you there. Uh, remember, your Twitch Prime uh, will get you a subscription for free. Remember, you got to re-up those subscriptions every month. Buy some merch. Make some cheers. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell your enemies. Let's play Bloodstained. Oh, good. There's an update. Oh, that's a system software update. Cancel. Good lord. Let's see if this plays okay without this the update. We we'll sit here for half an hour while it updates. Oh, really? Ah, crap. All right, fine. No, close that. What am I doing? Get out of there. Get out of there. So on top of everything else, we're going to sit here and watch the system update. What else do you want to talk about? He scooped Jessica, Froya, Keena, Jasper Teen, Namava was supposed to be Beetle Adventure Racing Night. It was supposed to be Beetle Adventure Racing Night. There it is. It's ready to play. It's waiting. And now it's not. I need some cables. But now we're updating systems. And then we're going to need a game update for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I thought just, uh, that piano does have some cables. It's true. I thought just, uh, installing it would have been good enough, but nope. Truth or dare. Yeah, Kina, that's pretty, pretty sad. Modern Gaming FTW. Oh, this is going pretty fast anyway. You just have to be honest. Dare works if you're honest. Every time I see that, I want to. My my brain says guitar when I see it from a distance. My brain says that's guitar. I know it's not. I know it's a piano. Post proof of the dare on Twitter. Go 
could play Karaoke Revolution instead. I'd do that. Oh, good. We're rebuilding the database. This is like trying to get out the door in uh, office space. Hey, Closet Ninja. All right. System's back up. Now we need an update. Come on, baby. Or we could just sit here on a dead screen. There we go. Sam Kennedy was the guy who... Uh, who turned me on to the Office Space movie. He came to visit me within the first month of living in Chicago at Sif, when I was working at Sif Davis. And that was like his favorite movie ever. So we watched it. Okay, we were, all right, now we're playing. Lumberg. Hey, Gaijin. I did not like Beavis and Butthead. I didn't even like King of the Hill. I was not a Mike Judge fan at all, but Office Space was amazing. And I feel like I was the perfect age for Beavis and Butthead. I was like, that was on, that was a thing while I was in high school. I felt like I was the, the, the target audience. All right. I don't remember Namava. Configuration. Back step, jump. Let me know if the audio is loud enough, not too loud. Graphics, other English, English. All right, let's do it. Sure, let's go with Miriam. Difficulty. <laughs> you should do it, Jessica. Scoop Joey should dress up as Miriam as well. See you, match. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. Is that loud enough? Welcome to change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen dark. A horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. There was a message. The Alchemy Guild. Hey, Joey. Rise of Feel so bad about Beetle Adventure. The patrons had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. The shore looks uh, similar to the Dracula X intro. And in doing so, through the gates of the world open to the It's just not in German. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the Hell's End, the steep price had already been paid and collected. 
As for the shod bud, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Something, something German Boy dentist. By some miracle, the rite did not go fatal. And there, a girl was spared the rite altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon. Fifty years later. Demons have returned. Presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Mary awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the artist. Totally not a Belmont. Bloodstained ritual. Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. Does he go, thank you? Every time you buy something? Because he better. Pretty sure that moon just got a lot farther away. doing Miriam no mistake it's so hard to believe I wouldn't even be alive if not for him he's a good soul I know I know how you feel but the facts are apparent and the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls Miriam I want you to know that I'm sorry. oh so just like uh, Alucard in uh, Symphony of the Night he did poses when you held up as well. It. it was their transgression, not yours. You, you always took care of us. Obviously. I like how she strikes a pose every time she speaks. Well, let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jibo is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. Let's talk but about I'm some the more. only one who can. The shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. <laughs> we'll make it soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. <laughs> ah, that's great. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything in the chest. How do I open the chest? Oh, good. I hate lanterns, too. There we go. Well, I know that now. So, wait, wait, why? Okay. Sure. Good. You're prepared. The next order of business is to... Is to get moving. I'll take care Look of at his knees shake. Crystallized form of demon power cannot be handled by an ordinary human being. Cerulean splash launch a bouncing ball of water at enemies. 
forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. What do invited claws scraping across your bones feel the like? The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. That sucks, because that is exactly my plan. I know my body's limits better than anyone, and I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. <laughs> How did they get inside? Maybe we should do something. The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. But over here first. Oh! Let's discuss this. I feel like we should do something. Here we go. Alright. Now we're talking. Gotta check the walls. Found potions. Okay. <clears throat> this device responds to magic. <laughs> this Maybe device. I just need to hold my hand up to it. It looks like a door. That seems needlessly complicated. Wow. That is a lot of rain. Whoa. Hi guys. Oh, let's shake. Oh, hi. Gale Crawler, create a shockwave that travels across the grounds and rips enemies let it lip it in a bit. Rips enemies apart. Who knew they could jump? I didn't. Oh, that was a terrible jump. Castlevania games are my speciality. There we go. Level up, baby. Oh, we got something. Country dress. There's a lot of rain out here. Potions. But I just got another dress. I already like the one I'm wearing. Tunic. Yeah. The one I'm wearing is better anyway. Time for some light reading. My studies, I've found the existence of the following attributes. Slash, thrust, strike, fire, ice, thunder, light, dark, poison, curse, and stone. 
Okay. Bully for you. Directional shard, aim with R and press R2 to activate. Flame cannon. Cool. Skadoosh. Candles can drop a mana rose when destroyed. A mana rose's magical rose is slightly replenishes MP. Really? That's a great idea. The original trailer to see how she looks. I got a bronze something or other. Don't know what it was. Oh, look at that. Might have known. Yeah, that's a good, that's a well-named trophy. You know I'm going to do it like every wall now. She's pretty great, I gotta say. water in this ship. Oh, I got a map. This way. Oh, come on, fellas. Okay, I keep getting ammo. Like gun ammo. Is there crafting in this game? Is that uh, why I, I feel like I'm getting elements to use crafting? Can you really move it to the bottom left? That's pretty great, actually. Short sword. Let's talk about that. Now we're talking. And I knocked his head right off. Time for some more reading. Flashing air kick. Perform over three spinning kicks by repeating the same command. Probably need the boots on, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know because I literally just started this. I don't know if this is worth buying now or waiting for the Switch version. Oh, you can save your progress here. Walk over to the bench and tilt up. 
Let's lounge. This, uh, this aesthetic does not fit the bottom of a, of a boat. Looks like the scarf actually does have a different uh, visual. Got to get McCowens. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Oh, the demo. Very satisfying death, though. Head flail. Attack by using a dollar hammer's head as a flail. Cool. How do I switch magics? Because that's clearly a thing. It's too bad. It, there, there should be a uh, quick, quick switch for magic. That would be better. by the purple glow that there was a lantern up there. Okay, there has to be way over. Right? I mean, there has to be. No? Okay. We must get a double jump at some point, then. Hi, guys. I can already see that the thing that I won't be doing properly in this game is using magic. I'll just constantly be forgetting it's even there. Oh, did Turok come out? Or was it already out? More, but I'll bet you her attack is really slow with this thing. Yeah. No, not a fan. Feels like there's got to be a lot right underneath me. Like there's got to be a whole area down there that's not on the map. Time for fashion. A little sitting room back there. Gun can be shot by equipping a consumable bullet. When you run out of the type of bullet that was equipped, the bullet will be replaced with a much weaker infinite bullet. Alright. to know how to shoot it. There we go. 
thousand G. It's this MP max up, you know. There, right. I'm gonna go back up to the left here. Because yes, I will want to uncover the entire map. Because I don't understand people who don't play Castlevania games that way. There. See if I care. Oh, do I need to double jump to get up there? No. Yep. Damn it. Okay. Backtrack too soon. going to the other end here. Hi! Man, he just does not wait at all, does he? Tomatoes! Rusted ring. You know there's a double jump somewhere on the ship. Yeah, the level up is great. I mean, the level up in Symphony of the Night was fantastic as well. It was just super satisfying. Gotta play Gato Roboto. a musketoon. Ooh. Nice, boy, kid. Where you, where you getting that from? That's the thing that's, it's funny, because, like, it used to be my job to get stuff like that, but nowadays, getting codes is just an absolute mystery to me. I don't know how people do it so often. if I like this whip. It's too slow. It's got good range, but it's too slow. I'm gonna go back to the short sword. I didn't see what I just got there. Rats. Oh. 
Another save room. Called that. Yeah, Jasper Gina, my friend Pedro looks good, but it it also looks like a game that is not made for me at all. Alright, I feel like I'm kind of out of options here. So without a double jump, there's really not much else I can uncover. Those are some nasty looking rats. There, finished up. Got rid of the infestation. I should get an achievement for that. Okay. That is a sweet ass mask. Half mask. So sleeping beauty. You've decided to awaken. Sheba, tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. How does it not? It's undracula. All the sins humans wrought upon us. Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. I disagree. <laughs> no. No, there you are. Very wrong. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle, reshuffle the world. The world. Join me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. Gerbil. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken. Convinced I was a monster. And you told me... This is nonsense. You told me... Our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. I'd given up on my humanity. But you restored my hope. Don't you remember? That is one cell-shaded boob. Uh, Master ah. Chibu, we must return. Yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing you. <laughs> You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Grimmery. We're leaving. Grimmery. Diva, wait! That was pretty cool. Tentacles are going to do something here. You know what? Let's check our shards. What have we got here? Flame Cannon, Cerulean Splash, Gale Crawler. So, do these go up in. power the more you use them? Familiars too.
should heal. What's cracking? Now, is it anything like the uh, the opening game where every single boss had a desperation attack? Thrashing tentacle attack foes with one of V Pyre's tentacles. I saw it. Just a flicker. That was the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. Wiggle, wiggle. Bloodstained. Let's talk about it. Demons Jeebel summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. These are the Jeebels I know, right. I know. These wait, are the Jeebels I know. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. Hey, Ben. Does the N64 look like how you remember it? Oh wow. Okay, I killed his little brothers on the ship. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit of a beaten. Okay. Don't want to spoil the game for when you have working hands. Clear, clear, that's fair enough. Oh, there's what's her name. <laughs> Later, Jaspertine. The sound mix in this is you, not Miriam. great. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominic. He, ru he runs like Dirk the Daring. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can she looks see, like a churchgoer. I know a thing or two about expelling demons. An exorcist. And we're lucky to have you, Dominique. And the church you, Miriam. I Thank was. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. have asked if it wasn't important but you should tell us why you need her Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger but she deserves to be armed with all the facts yes very well we will go through them all right I now you when I contacted you that the Shardbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle yes there's no mistake about that he admitted as much what you spoke to him Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons facilitated by one shard binder. Sorry, get my old man pillow from my back. With the sudden awakening of the other shard binder after exactly ten years. You're right, it is strange. But the church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. 
Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked yes, you to I mean, bring no. her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened? Thank you, Miriam. <laughs> I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me. Hey, over here. Oh, hello there. Sure. Are you alright? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm alright, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, all right. Come on, this way. Wonder if those heels are church issue. Use a safe spot. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine. So should I start doing this every other Please weekend on a request night? I do want to keep playing this. All right. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. I'll call it my alchemy workshop. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but be careful. <laughs> you got some sweet tats. Tats. <laughs> Everybody left me. <laughs> Waste stone. Sweet cell shaded tats. Ah. Later, Keen Ad. Miriam, welcome. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Oh, uh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are Holy water on the floor. from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. What else I am I going to do with this? I doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you if you no longer need them. Wait. Is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras. There's a lot of not playing Castlevania going on. Of the same type amplifies its power, but there is a limit to how there's an, far There's an editing go. mistake there between possessing and multiple, and that drives me crazy. And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate, but I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right. I know you're looking out for me. <laughs> Jessica, oh my god. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? Would I ever. What are you looking to sell? What is a waystone? Tissue river picture requires concentration. The board game? Kung Fu shoes! Should probably hang on to the different weapon types, right? I'm gonna hang on to all those for now. 
<clears throat> what, are you what do we got? Lethal boots. Oh, an EP. That's, uh, yeah. EP. EP? EP? But is that... Okay, what am I... What's my short sword? Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, I get it. I get it. Let's do a long sword. Is this right? Many thanks. Oh... I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time. All right, side quests. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll... I'd sure like someone to refill my health. That would be really helpful. I still owe you my life. There it is. What is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Oh no. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. Man, always running out of silver bromide. I know I the feeling, Dominique. Be right back. Let's go learn about cooking and crafting. Ah, here she is. I have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I know, it's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into... Oh, really, Blurkid? But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. Now we can't populate the entire game with cat photos from Kickstarters. So, what'll it be? Oh, okay, so this is... It's interesting. Let's create a potion. Food, okay. Once I've transmuted an item, I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can carry it at the supply post for you. I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. Oh, I don't just get the items, I have to but buy them after when that? It comes to items I don't know about, Lame. you'll have to find a formula for me and bring it here. Oh, so this is how new items are unlocked. I got it, okay. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials, but it's worth it to make your shards. Flirting with 40 useful. subscribers again, by the way. Try it when you get the chance. Subscribe. I think I will. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through to survive. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. Or just cook them. With proper nutrition and a varied diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. Oh, really? Eating new food for the first time will provide Miriam with a stat boost. Okay. So that actually... Because I was literally about to say, like, I never do that sort of thing in these games because... Yeah, I'll just find a save point and heal. Alright, 
Let's keep going here. Need to find my double jump. You know there is one. Oh, this would be a teleportation room. Bone toss. Throw a bone. Throw me a freaking bone here in the designated direction. Whoa, hi. Lots of different things just happened. Was a pretty teleporter. Oh. Yeah, do you like that, Doctor Eve impression? Thanks. Appreciate that. Oh. Fears. Aw, oh, what? Wearable ears that resemble those of a certain sylvan race. And now we've got elf ears. Sure looks like I can go down there. Nope. Well, I mean, maybe yes, but not currently. Hmm. I missed my chance to turn across the top there. No. Oh, there we filled it out. Let's take a load off there, Miriam. Dogs are barking, Basilard. I'm going to end up with a ton of weapons because I'll be afraid to sell anything. Surprise gift. Hurl your equipped weapon at enemies. Another fireball attack. We need some more music. That's cool. Ooh, pretty. Well, you know we're going down first. Better be something worthwhile over here. Giant rat, giant rat. Ooh, tiny rats. This must be where he keeps his family. It's a long walk. Gotta see those little spider web patterns that appear. Oh, something's going on with her scarf. That appear uh, when you have a breakable wall. Look really chintzy. An 8 bit coin. What does an 8 bit coin do for me? Oh, that's the 
place that I said I bet you I can go down from here. That rat has got a lot of eyes. can't get through or not I feel like I've subverted the whole first part of this castle forbidden underground waterway that fish has a lot of eyes I assume yeah okay so I don't have anything to actually swim with Stupid, powerful fish. I'm gonna die. Oh. Uh, is she, uh, fling a sharp sliver of ice towards enemies. Okay, I should probably heal. Yeah, I'm here before I should be here. Okay. This is... A beautiful music. So is that this game's equivalent of a loading screen? A CD access screen? I guess it's one way to keep the transitions from being too jarring. Oh, somebody just threw a, an angel at me. Oh, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Are not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. I mean, we already saw this in the demo, didn't we? Backer portraits. Uh, they sh they sh honestly, they should never patch in a way to remove them. Because it was, uh, it was one of the backer rewards. See him there. I got some elm. Okay. Really could use another save room. If I was smart, I would, you know, just heal again. Leather chest guard. No, I agree. They're terrible. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like you kind of back yourself into a corner by saying, hey, we're going to do this to the people who back at a certain level, and then to turn around and say, yeah, we changed our minds. Because you can't really do that. 
That's just me, though. Thousand Blossoms. Haha. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I can't get up there. So let's go to the right. Let's uh, heal again. And there's the cat picture. thing is where I would have turned around and said, no, has to be a person. Oh, there's the bloody fountain. It's kind of a mainstay in this games, isn't it? Hobo Dracula. You have a lot to explain for. After all the terrible things you've done? All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. But don't I deserve it? You were like a father to me. Well, enough, child. I am here for the book. Jeeple has the book. What are you talking about? Necrono Necronomicon? If you don't already know, then let us keep it that way. That's gotta be getting hard. Alfred, His arm, I mean. How are you still alive? Ugh, what were you thinking of coming here? You can answer my question first. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? I feel like Johannes has made it pretty clear that the fact he is alive is not all that matters. Book? The Liber Logia? Make yeah, that no one. Mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Don't you take that tome with me. Not even you should touch it. Didn't what happened ten years ago teach you anything? I don't have time to argue with you. I just hope you are wise enough not to get in my way. What? You know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. I have the high ground. Can't you see my arm is raised? You will die. I came here because something didn't feel right. But I didn't expect him. Johannes, what is the Liber Logaeth? Let's talk about it. It's, it's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. The guild used it to bring about the calamity ten years ago, and the Shardbinder's crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. A book like that shouldn't even exist. I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power, but we cannot let him lay hands on the Liber Logaeth. He said Cheeple had it. You know, I think I might have seen it. It makes sense. Probably closet ninja. We're in. Can we talk about the fact that uh, Johannes has a book strapped to his chest? I think that's fantastic. And it's got little uh, place markings in it, and that looks like a pen or pencil. Uh, that's great. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the sacrifice. 
So now I have to stop Alfred too. No, let's focus on Jebel. If we can get to him and the book before Alfred does, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Two birds and one crazy old man. Good point. All right. <sighs> Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. Oh, but nice I'll call, Blair Cade. Yes. See what she has to say. Prologue game. He was he was the one of the characters. Closet Ninja, you've got to play that. Curse of the Moon. That's it. There's got to be a save room down there, right? Or maybe something that requires a key. That might be it, too. Hey, math man. Oh. Oh. Screw you. That sure looks like a fairy of some sort back there. Yeah, I know. I, I told you I wouldn't use the magic properly in this game. That's how I play stuff like this. Right in the back. Flytrap. Place Imoko weed on the ground. Oh. I recognize that little sound effect. You hear the... Can you hear it? That little flying pig's making a sound effect when you hit him. That guy looks like he's up to no good. That guy's got a big serrated sword. Oh, and it spins. <gasps> Probably shouldn't have just stood there. God, I really need a save room. Life doesn't fill up when you go up a level either. Kinda sucks. Oh, get down here. Morgan Stern. He's my favorite Shakespearean character. Let's try that for a while. That's gotta be a safe room. Nope. Oi. Several months have passed since I wandered into the castle. I've managed to survive thus far by rummaging through treasure chests without the monsters taking notice. Will I find something palatable today? For once, I'd like to crack a chest open and find a mouth-watering hunk of meat. Later, Closet Ninja. That's gorgeous. Oh, come on. Save room, please. Ooh. 
That's okay. <sighs> Maybe I should go back and do a little. I'm gonna go back and do a little bit exploration, exploration, because I feel like I should have come across a save room by now. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. At least the second attack's easy to avoid. Got him on the backswing. Oh, I never did get a key, did I? Really? for wall meat, have I? Good call. DXO 1764. Whilst attempting to create my homunculus, I discovered a strange formation of white crystal growing on the subject. What is it? A sign at long last that my studies are progressing? I must observe it diligently and learn all I can. CXH 1764. The crystal I discovered appears to be multiplying. Slowly, its corruption spreads through the cadaver I chose as a subject. It is a marvelous substance, neither entirely a liquid nor a solid. As soon as I have enough, I shall begin experiments to discover its other properties. There we go. All right, that's better. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not even a bit on her. there like an idiot. Heretical grinder. Extend a shaft of rotating blades in the designated direction. That's weird. Now earlier on the statues themselves just shattered. Digging the purple curtains though. Sedating gyre? Oh. Well, let's save again since we're down here. And then we'll head back in the other direction.
Okay. Uh, see, I knew how to dodge it, and I didn't do it. That went pretty well, all things considered. Oh, really? I don't like that these things need to like settle down again before you can hit them. It's kind of annoying. All right, let's go down here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, another sound effect that's straight out of Symphony of the Night. Okay, having trouble with the frogs. There we go. Oh, they're tough, too. Come on. What did I just get? I really wish I would remember to look and see the things I've been getting. Right, take that. Okay. Didn't think that would just get me the second I walked near it. All right, so that happened. Trustworthy. Why? Are you offering one? No. <laughs> I could take you someplace most interesting. The rub, of course, is that obstacle standing squarely in our path. See? <sighs> I doubt I would be able to push it aside. A shame you don't have a giant hand. Ah, the wild and crazy things one could do. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to make that, but decided I'd try anyway. Feels like something should happen in here. smoothly as I wanted it to. That's just a whole lot of enemies hanging out right there. Oh, 
Come on. Really? Okay. Yep. Yeah, that went well. Oh. trouble with the uh, collision detection there for sure. All right, well, that was Beetle Adventure Racing on the N64. No, I'll uh, I have to see what I can do about my N64. But in the meantime, um, that was Blood Blood Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember, uh, you can support this channel by subscribing. Your Amazon Prime account will get you a free monthly subscription. You need to update, update that every month. Uh, and of course, the main reason we stream, Extra Life, Seward.ca will take you to my Extra Life page for your tax deductible donation to the IBK Health Center here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Thank you so much for hanging out. Sorry about the change in schedule tonight. Um, in the meantime, I will be out of here for the weekend. Back on Monday with Snatcher. Uh, back on Tuesday with Castlevania Anniversary Collection. And back on Thursday, maybe with Beetle Adventure Racing. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Um, but yes, I will keep playing this uh, every other week, probably on the donor request nights, because we need something to slow down the donor requests a little bit. <laughs> Have a great evening. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you on Monday. Good night.